Hello everybody. This tutorial is for beginners who are using HTML editing and writing. I'll show some important elements and commands that are helpful and how to do so in this program that I'm using which is called the Coffee Cup Web Editor. Now I'll start looking into some of the specific program elements. First you want to open the web editor application on your computer. So as you can see, once you've opened the program, a pop-up menu like this will show some different options for starting a new project. You can pick from all of the options, like creating an empty project, creating a project from a theme, which gives you a pre-made template, a new project from importing files and folders that you have on your computer already, and a sample project. We'll start with just an empty project. So what you see on the screen looks pretty simple in this program, which is nice for beginners because it's not very overwhelming. The left menu area in this gray space shows all the files that are open, um, and this search bar allows you to search for all the files if you have a lot open. This center area in this big white space shows what you're working on presently. The left column of the white space shows the HTML text that you can write, and the right column shows the CSS, which, is, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet that you can use if you link a style sheet to the file or create one yourself. This program does many things automatically like the CSS stuff, but I found that as a beginner it's a little easier to toggle the sliding menu on the bottom here to the left so it just shows HTML text because it's a little less to keep track of, so I'll do that right now. The top center area here shows the output of what you insert into the HTML or CSS areas. In this program, you can also change preferences to make it a little more usable for you. I'll show you the ones that a beginner might find most helpful. So you're going to want to go to the web editor menu and hit preferences. So now this other pop-up menu comes up. And the general area section lets you choose preferences for basic aspects of the program and how you would see the program on your computer screen. The editor, pro, or editor preference right here shows um, where various display features can be changed as well as some auto-completion menu checkboxes that you can turn on and off, which is right here. And like I said before, this program does many things automatically. And as a beginner or someone who is a little more used to writing HTML on their own without a program, I prefer to uncheck some of these boxes. After experimenting with this pr program specifically more, I decided to uncheck this close HTML and XML tags automatically button because I felt a little more in control with doing it myself while writing the HTML text. You can also change the typefaces and sizes of the editing areas in this preference section down here. In the color section, all of the HTML or whatever writing language you're using commands, these are in different colors. It's kind of a perk of the program to make writing a little easier and finding your written information while you're writing. So we'll close that now and look at another neat element of the program. So now click um, View and then Tag Snippets and Helpers. So here you see a really long list of some common commands for editing languages. While writing, this program also shows drop-down menus for automatic uh, filling of commands. So for example, if I'm in this HTML text area and I write this, um, the program will automatically show some options for commands that you can insert, like headings or a header as you see here. So you just click on the one you want or you finish typing yourself. So we'll pretend I'm writing a header. Um, so that is pretty neat to be able to do. So I'll talk about now some common commands that really deserve mentioning while writing HTML text. First of all, remember always that your HTML commands will not work if there's a little thing like a semicolon or even a quotation mark that's wrong. So be really careful when you're writing it. Um, a program like this is more automatic as I've said before, so it can help you avoid some of those problems. So first you see this one right here in the HTML writing area. This is called a line number. So as you write more and press enter after each time, the line numbers will automatically show up, much like a numbered poem. So if I write a couple lines there, you see it made three of them automatically for me after I pressed enter every time. So now about some more specific HTML commands. Your HTML commands are inserted with greater than or less than brackets around them like this. So if I'm example writing some HTML command, 
I have the greater than and less than brackets right here. And then the command finishes when you put a forward slash in there like this. This isn't actually a command, but I'm just giving an example. So now you can outline your body text where your main body will be by just writing body in the first line and then writing another line and ending the text. So now anything you write between these two lines will be in your body text. You can make some headings too in your writing area just like in a Word document. So there are a few different sizes. There are specifically six sizes. Use the H1 command for writing um, big, larger headings. And then we'll finish it with a forward slash. And use the smallest, biggest number for the smallest size of a heading, which is H6. So you can see that the headings have a really different size area and you can make go through H2, H3, H4, H5, etc. So to make your text bold, um, you use the B command which looks like this and then just write the text you want in there and then finish it with the forward slash. So you can see right here the text is bold. And to italicize your text, use the I command. and a forward slash to end that as well. You might notice now that the line numbers that we talked about earlier, there are six here, but only three are showing up up here. They don't really match with your preview area, and this is because you haven't yet outlined a paragraph area. So to outline paragraph areas, use the P command. So we'll throw one in right here. We'll just say that's the beginning of the paragraph, and this will be the end of the paragraph. So now you can see that it separated. Um, this text is bold here, up here. And then you can start a new one for the italicized text, for example, and end that section there. You can change the background color of what you're working on by doing a background color command, which is a little bit more in-depth, but it looks like this. You just write body style and then the background um, color that you want. It will make it yellow and it automatically does that for you. So some more commands that are worth knowing but we're not going to go through right now are that you can make horizontal lines in your text. You can insert um, a link into your text. You can align your text differently. You can change the font of the text, and you can also create some ordered lists. So as you can see, writing and editing HTML is a full-time task um, that requires full and complete attention to detail, and it's very different from simply writing in a Word document or Excel spreadsheet. What, once you know the basic information and get the hang of writing in this language, then you can continue on to some more advanced HTML writing and editing by buying a program that you like and using different preferences and tasks.